I got a video for you guys on just the jab. Um, a little breakdown, why I believe it's important in MMA. And maybe it's underutilized, I don't know. I mean, all the top guys got the jab. They all got it down. Um, all the, even the old school guys, I guess the best guy of all time, what would people would consider GSP. Um, you know, he had one hell of a jab. Um, that jab for GSP, it really did. It set up his overhand right, that set up his takedown 100%. You go back and watch his GSP's film, especially after that Matt Sarris loss, I mean, he was sticking that jab out there like no other. So, you know, jab's important. And you know, this is a boxing strength TV, it's a boxing channel, but I mean, I've been in MMA gym since 2007. Been around, you know, uh, you know, big, big camps, uh, you know, was actually, you know, helping people in big camps for fights. UFC guys and shit, you know, back in the day. And it is what it is, and you know, they all had strong jabs. And uh, so yeah, let me just go over it. So yeah, you got your, you got your jab upstairs. So, so basically a jab, I'm throwing it out here. A to B, so when it comes out, I got my wrist rotation, shoulder rotation, proper defense, and when it comes out, it comes right back. So here, right there, right there. And you got your jab upstairs, and you got your jab in the body. Okay, and then you know, once you get that down, you start doubling it up, so. And then you can start tripling it up. And, and why you do that, because it's your elite hand. And your elite hand, like, for all like the copy box and like percentage stuff, your elite hand is at a higher percentage to land than your back hand. Okay? So obviously your elite hand needs to be strong. And the best punch for your elite hand is your jab, you know? And then hell, when you get good at your jab and you start catching them, because you know, once you start once you start landing your jab in a fight, it usually sets everything else up. But let's just say he's carrying down your jab and you can't get him, okay? Well then you just come that nice tight left uppercut. You're throwing a jab, it ain't working. Boom, right there, okay? But all that's gonna happen because of your jab. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, so like, I mean, you could go jab, right knee, jab, right elbow, left hook, jab, left hook to the body, you know, jab, jab, right kick, whatever, you know? Um, you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. But I'm just trying to do this video because I'm really letting you guys know in MMA, especially you young guys coming up. Like I'm turning, you know, some of these guys, they got fights coming up. And, uh, you know, I'm really just focused on the jab, I'm drilling the jab. Today we did a dr drill for a three minute round where it's only the jab, okay? Shooting the jab upstairs, shooting the jab in the body, doubling up the jab, not getting hit by the jab. Because you know what, you know, if you're getting hit by the jab, that's not good. You don't want to do that. That's like the worst thing you want to, want to ever happen to you is get hit by the jab. That's why, you know, in MMA, just like boxing, you want to hit and not get hit, okay? You don't want to take two to get one. That's why, you know, having footwork and staying behind your jab helps. And what's another thing like you can do with your jab? You can jab going back. For my guys, I call it jabbing out. So boom, boom, boom. I'm jabbing out and I'm keeping the guy out of my guard, okay? And I'm just resetting, I'm getting my break. So I'm on the offense and it looks like, but I'm really on the defense recovery. That's if you get hit by a bad shot or you just kind of gas yourself out and you need a few seconds to break, okay? A jab going out, boom, boom, boom. You can pivot off, you can do whatever you want from there. But, um, you know, you got that jab. So jab upstairs, jab the body, jabbing out. Um, and yeah, you know, that's it guys. Uh, basically you young fighters in the game, you know, work on your jab. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna make your career a lot better, and it's gonna give you a better percentage to win. Okay. So yeah, you know you can even hold the jab out a little bit, you know, and then come something off of it, you know. I mean that's probably for you taller guys out there and stuff, and that's a whole nother video. But I'm telling you, the lead punch if you're southpaw, it's the jab. If you're orthodox, it's the jab. Okay. So jab, jab, and jab some more, and you will be a better MA fighter because of it.